I've always enjoyed painting, drawing, um, any kind of arts and crafts. I started painting in 2006 with watercolors. I had painted just little crafty things before, but that was when I really fell in love with true fine art watercolor paintings and decided I wanted to make some of my own. An artist named Ernest Johnson, one of his paintings, there's a little errant drop of paint, just something that splattered unintentionally. And there was something about that little drop that called to me because I've always loved water. And the way watercolors work is it's just pigment suspended in water. So that one little droplet was something about how it showed me the process and the way that the paint dries and it's water. And I just really loved it. A lot of it was I wanted watercolors for my walls. <laughs> and you can't buy all the art at once, so if you're an artist, you make your own. Also, watercolor has so many neat tricks that you can do with it. You know, most paints, you spread them, and they stay where you put them, and that's it. But watercolor has a little bit of a mind of its own. It's very unique in that way. So much of what happens is just the magic of the water, because water moves around. It flows on its own. And so much of what I enjoy in painting is to see something and say, how could I translate that into a painting? We don't create something perfect every time. We couldn't. And failed paintings teach you more than successful paintings because they teach you what not to do.